In this video, I am going to show you all of my enamel pin collection. And I am going to group them together by where I got them from. First, I want to start with Artistic Flavors. They have a special place in my heart because they're the ones where I got my first pin from. So here I have Luna. She's so shiny, it's kind of hard to show. I have Hermione. And I love her big curly hair in this one. And she has her wand and a time turner. I have Harry Potter himself. Uh, he has his letter and Hedwig on his shoulder. I have Ron Weasley. And he's looking really cute and funny with his R sweater. I have a Dumbledore. And he has a lot of glitter. On his outfit. I have a Niffler and I don't usually like uh, soft enamel pins but I think it works really good in this one. I have a Dobby. Look how cute he is with this sock. And now I have some mascots. So here we have the Hufflepuff mascot, the Slytherin mascot, the Gryffindor mascot. Now, I actually do not have the Ravenclaw mascot. I am missing that one. And I believe they have discontinued <laughs> these pins. So, I kind of have an incomplete collection now. I have Hedwig. And then I have a cute little Baymax. With, he looks so cute with the headphones. I have Baby Yoda. He's so cute, I just love him. And then I have a couple of little retro gaming hearts. Um, I kind of don't remember what this effect is called, like a kind of neon um, effect. And I also have a gold one. And then I have this pin. This is really big. I think this is the biggest pin that I have. And it says Staff, Broom Specialist, Ask About Custom Handle Finishes. And it has a broom dangling on it. So this is basically a store sign. And this was from Magic Delivered. And it was actually a partnership with the Potter Collector. And then from Enchanted Extras, I have this beautiful pin that says Welcome to Hogwarts. And I also have this big and beautiful pin that shows two worlds. And if you're familiar with Sarah J. Mass books, on one side we have the Night Court, Valaris. And then on the other side, there is Crescent City. Uh, there's the Arch. And if you have read both books, you might know that they might be connected. And I'm not going to say any more spoilers, but I love this pin. Okay, next up we're going to From Calico. And I have a bunch of pins from them. First I have this adorable Corgi. Because I am <laughs> obsessed with Corgis. Then I have Aerith from Final Fantasy. Then I have another Corgi, this time in a hot dog costume. And I don't know, they're just so cute. Then I have a few Animal Crossing ones. Here I have Tom Nook. I have Isabel. I have Celeste. I have Blathers. And I have the one and only KK Slider. Okay, next we have a few random ones. So I have this, how you doing? Uh, it came from a Culture Fly friends box. And this is, I believe, official. Then from Victoria's Secret, I actually have this peach. I have this little pink dog. And I have one that says pink. The next, I have a pizza slice. I actually got these from Office Depot, I think. It was so random. 
I have this coffee cup with a heart in it. I have a pink donut, a cactus, and a llama. <laughs> this one is very cute. From Joy Addict, I have this Hogwarts castle that looks like a stamp, a 35 cent stamp, and this is the castle. And I also have another stamp, and this one is for the borough, and it's only worth 5 cents. Then from Swish and Flick, I have Picket with a lock. I have the sword of Godric Gryffindor. I have this beautiful quill with, I believe, a quote from Dumbledore. And one of my most beautiful owned pins is this Mirror of Erised. But here's the catch. It not only is gorgeous like this, but this spins. I show not your face, but your heart's desire. How gorgeous is this? And I have a Valaris pin that says, Welcome to Valaris. Then I have what looks like a grilled cheese. And it says, I'll stop the world and melt with you. And this one is from Mala. Then I have this cute cat that says, trying my best. And I got this one from Sylvan Design Company. I have this Harry Potter wand with flowers coming out of it, like a wand bouquet. And this one is from BB Cree 8. And I'm just going to do a little shameless plug here, but this one is actually mine. This is my first ever enamel pin. And it's available on my Etsy shop, Mooncrest shop. And next I have a few pins that I don't remember where I got them from. And they are not stamped. But I will try to find out where I got them from and I will put them in the video. So I have this Caraval stamp. With the tents, another book that I highly recommend. I have this gorgeous Take Me Back to Hogwarts pin. With the Hogwarts Express, we got Hedwig here, the platform nine and three quarters. I have this cute little gingerbread man <laughs> that was already bitten a little bit. I have this cute little elephant with a balloon that says, save the memories. And I got a little planter. Okay, then I have a few pins that I got from someone at some convention, but now that I look closely at them, I I think they got them from AliExpress or something like that because I've seen them, so I'm not really sure. But this one says, please let me pet your dog, and it's a heart with a banner. I have a bunny that says, me, sarcastic, never. I have a big B, some tiny little bees, it's actually a set of three, and another B that says be kind. Then I have another corgi, this one is from Doggo Fashion, I got a Hufflepuff a badge and I got this one from the Hallmark store and I also have a Hufflepuff loyalty banner this was actually these two were actually a set then I have this purple skull this one is from Alex Strangler I have a cute little laptop from feature feature from Holly Pixels, I have this cute little narwhal. And I have this panda skeleton. 
Next up from Celestial Fox, I have this cute pastel one that says feeling insecure. Let me reassure you. Lots of puns. I have this super cute cupcake. And I have a pink Pokeball. Then I have this <laughs> super cute and awesome pink snail. Uh, this is also one of my favorites. And this one is from Maintaining Mediocrity. And then I have this tiny Deathly Hallows from Pins and Needle. I have another Animal Crossing one. This is Daisy May from Fifth Element Pins. Then I have another Baby Yoda. This one I got from Box Lunch. Then from Hot Topic, I bought another Corgi. This one cute but dangerous, holding a knife. And I also have another cute and dangerous Fox with a knife. Then I have a Friends Umbrella that I got from the Friends store at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. Next up, I have a few pins that I got from the Wizarding World. First, there's this metal Hogwarts castle. I have Fluffy. I have a Hufflepuff badge. A yellow Prefect badge. I have the Ollivanders logo. I have Hedwig. A gorgeous golden snitch. I have this really awesome and chunky one. It's a chocolate frog. It's really thick, but it opens and there's a chocolate frog inside. And I also have a set of ties from every house. We have Hufflepuff and Gryffindor and Slytherin and Ravenclaw. And finally I'm gonna show you all the pins that I have from Lit Joy. And this is gonna be the last group and I do have a lot of them. It might be the biggest group that I have. So first we have one of my favorites from them and is Hedwig with a letter. I have this Wisley is our king. I have a spew badge. Society for the promotion of elfish welfare. I have a snake. Then I have a dragon. I believe this is a Hungarian horntail. I have an otter patronus. A rabbit. Patronus and another Patronus but this one comes with a wand uh, might be a wolf Patronus I'm not quite sure actually then I have Rita Skeeter as a beetle I think this might actually be my least favorite pin because mm, it came in a subscription box but you know not a fan of bugs then I have Victor Kroom with a shark head. I have this one with pygmy puffs and it says anything is possible if you've got enough nerve. Then I have this Jeannie Weasley one in a Quidditch outfit and another one I think this might also be Jeannie. Then I have this one that says 100% that witch and a similar one, this time in blue, that says Witches are Among Us. Then I have another one of my favorites, and this is a Hogwarts Express. It comes in two parts. There's a magnet. And this part of the carriage actually opens up. And it is so gorgeous. I love that it's interactive. You can split it apart, but why would you? And yeah, I have a little Niffler with a golden snitch. I have a bow truckle 
with the lock. I have a demiguise, a fooper, I have a kelpie, some moon calves. I have an alchemy coming out of a teapot, a phoenix, a swooping evil, a couple of thestrals, a thunderbird, and a zoo. I have another dragon. This time is a Braxis from Throne of Glass. I have this Child of the Library one from Sorcery of Thorns. I have this huge pin um, that I think looks better in the box than it does on display, like on a banner. And this is the cursed necklace from Harry Potter. Um, yeah, it's really big. And finally, I have a few pins, also from LitJoy, but they are from their Lunacorns group. I have this, like, Starbucks-like cup, but with the Lunacorns logo. I have the Quibbler, but it's for Lunacorns. And lastly, I have a library card for Lunacorns. And this is my whole enamel pin collection. Um, what did you think of it? What was your favorite pin out of my whole collection? And do you have some of the same pins that I have? Um, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, so this is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye bye.